My African Wild Dogs is a journey into my own inner emotional turmoil. The work engages myself, the seriously threatened African Wild Dog, of which there are only 397 dogs left in South Africa, and less than 5,000 in Africa. And then my Therianthropic Wild Dog, which I become when I go into trance and fuse with the African Wild Dog. Work 1 addresses overpopulation and it's called 21 plus 1 plus 1. And I question the fact whether any man on earth has the right to procreate himself more than once. By pro procreating ourselves so many times, we have, are taking over the natural environment of the African wild dog and thus they're becoming so seriously free. Work 2, Red Thread, is all about the social vulnerability of women. Women aren't actually vulnerable, but they're made vulnerable by violent men. And in contrast to this, I'm actually in awe of the social behaviour of the African wild dog. The African wild dog uh, dogs have, have a collective effort in looking after their offspring, and leadership changes are non-violent, and they're generally monogamous, so, I mean, which is quite a contradiction to us. Work 3, X xenophobia is all about the xenophobic violence that we have in our country. Xenophobia is basically the fear of the unknown. And we sadly have a very bad history in South Africa with xenophobic violence and many people have lost their lives in our country and are currently still losing their lives due to this violence. Work 4, 67 over 2014, is all about farm murders, gruesome killings. And similarly, I hang my African wild dog, symbolically from a farm gate, as they were also killed by farmers in a similar manner. Work 5 is called fusion, interconnected fusion, which is basically about myself and my turmoil. I am overwhelmed by feelings of angst living in South Africa and I have fused with my African wild dog, hung myself upside down above a mirror in which blood is dripping from my nose into the mirror. The mirror is symbolic of a gateway of inversion and somehow I wish we could undo all these wrongdoings in the world and in our own country. I call myself JTL, Sculpture for Reflection. And this body of work, my African wild dogs, really reflects that. I feel that if I could only stop people for a moment in time to reflect on all these serious issues and the plight of the African wild dog, I have really achieved something.